Hello and welcome back to Tech for Less, the show where we talk about all the best tech you can get for cheap. I'm your host, Chris DeGraw, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of our favorites under $75. So let's do this thing. By now you're probably familiar with the Google Assistant. It's the invisible secretary we've got living in many of our phones and smart gadgets. The Google Home Mini is the smallest of Google's smart speaker lineup and legit my personal favorite. For the uninitiated, with Google Assistant, you can set alarms, you can play music, check the weather, no-touch Google searches, along with an ever-growing list of other various tasks. In addition, it can control your smart stuff, so your speakers, your TV, your thermostats, and on and on. The sound is surprisingly nice and loud for its size, and it's great for listening to podcasts or music while you do errands around the house. You can even link multiple minis together, allowing you to wander from room to room without interrupting any important Blue Apron ad reads. Of course, the Google Home Mini comes in a variety of colors, including chalk, charcoal, coral, and aqua. So just like with the Amazon Echo Dot, you can unobtrusively accent your home decor. This smart speaker will run you $49, and trust me when I tell you, once you get one in the living room, you'll realize you still need one for the kitchen, and maybe one for the bedroom even the bathroom, and pretty much everywhere else. Up next, we're showing off the Tautronics TT-BH060 Active Noise Cancelling Headphones. Now that is a mouthful, but this is a recent favorite of ours, especially considering that most wireless noise cancelling headphones will run you upwards of $300 or more. The design of these headphones is simple and understated. It's not trying to show off, and it's not going to turn any heads either. But for the budget-conscious commuter or the open office inhabitant, that's probably not what they were going for. Whether you're jamming to pop, jazz, or hip-hop, you'll be delighted to realize that you can differentiate each element of the sound pretty easily without that overly dramatic low-end that inexpensive headphones tend to lean toward and suffer from. I'm not saying that there's no difference between these headphones and, say, the Sony WH-1000XM3s or the Surface headphones but not everyone wants to pony up a couple months worth of car insurance for great sound quality and convenience. And at $70 for these guys, you really don't have to. Next up, we're looking at the Blue Snowball Ice. It's been out for years now and praised by many for being the absolute best in affordable microphones for podcasting, voiceovers on YouTube, streaming on Twitch, or even simple music recording at home on a computer. This mic uses what's called a cardioid condenser capsule. And while that sounds like something that Goku might need to consume in order to save the planet, really it's just there to filter out background noise from things like your keyboard or a fan. To use it, just plug the USB into the back and plug the other end into your computer. And that's it. You'll know it's working when the red light up top illuminates. Literally no one likes downloading and updating drivers, so it's really nice not to have to do that with this mic. It's worth noting that you have to be pretty close to the blue snowball ice in order to get picked up clearly. No more than a foot away max, and even that might be stretching it. But for most of the situations you'd be using a mic like this, you'd want to be up close anyway, so it's not a huge deal. And you can always invest in an arm or something to give yourself more freedom of movement. When the mic is the right distance away from the source, about like this, you'll notice it sounds impressively rich and clear. The Blue Snowball Ice retails for $50, and when paired with free recording software like OBS or Audacity, it can be both affordable and versatile, especially if you're thinking about getting into content creation, or if you just want to argue with your friends on Discord as to whether Apex Legends is better than Fortnite. Let's keep the game theme going, and this one, oh man, am I excited to show you this one. This is the Kentaro Super Kuma 9000, and it's really just a pretty shell because what's hiding inside is a Raspberry Pi 3. Okay, this one's gonna get a little nerdy, so stick with me. The Raspberry Pi, if you don't know, is a tiny, like really tiny computer with all the same ports as your laptop or a desktop. It's got USB ports, an ethernet, it's got a Wi-Fi antenna, an HDMI out, even a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, which is more than we can say for some other popular devices. The Raspberry Pi was basically built as a cheap learning tool for coding, and since its original release in 2012, it sold millions of units. And it's used for a ton of projects like RC cars, homemade smartphones, and DIY game consoles. 
And in case you haven't figured it out yet, we're here to talk about the last one. By the very nature of Pi, this is a fantastic weekend project, at the end of which you'll be the proud owner of your very own portable gaming console, capable of emulating games from as far back as Atari all the way through to N64. Just be patient, especially if you're new to coding. I promise though, it's a lot easier than it sounds. And thankfully, chances are if you're having a problem, a million other people have had the same one. So a solution is just a Google search away. Do remember that downloading games that you don't already physically own isn't strictly above board, legally speaking. But we're not here to tell you how to live your life, and if you do happen to own a bunch of classic games, having them all in one easy to carry around package no bigger than a Game Boy is a lot less cumbersome than trying to connect an OG Nintendo to a new smart TV. Not to mention that there are probably thousands of user-created games and fan-made spin-offs that you can enjoy at this point completely guilt-free. The Super Kuma 9000 and Raspberry Pi 3 together will run you just over $70 and will undoubtedly make you king or queen of the gamers among your friend circle. Streaming sticks are pretty popular, not least because smart TV UI is often not that fast or intuitive, and Roku's been in the game long enough to hang with the best. The Roku Streaming Stick Plus, released in 2017, is now one of the best and least expensive streaming sticks you can get your hands on. The plus sign moniker is earned by the Streaming Stick's ability to deliver 4K and HDR content to HDR-compatible TVs. It also supports Dolby Atmos Audio, offering best-in-class surround sound. You can leave your TV remote on the coffee table or shove it away in a drawer, because this little remote can control your TV's power and volume. That may seem like a pretty minor feature, but once you get used to it, the thought of having to juggle multiple remotes will seem barbaric by comparison. With a simple on-screen setup and one of the most easy to use, visually appealing layouts we've ever had the pleasure of testing, the Roku Streaming Stick Plus refuses to waver among increasing competition. And because it came out over a year ago, it's an even sweeter deal at just $60 compared to the $70 it released at. That's gonna do it for this week's Tech for Less. As always, you can check out any of the products I mentioned in the description down below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. And until then, I'm Chris DeGraw. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.